You can see a list of the pages contained in your document by selecting the first option on the left hand menu. The options shown beside the page title help you to rename, duplicate or delete individual pages. If you need to change the order of your pages, just hover over the relevant name, hold down your mouse button and drag the item to its new position. Most pages within Beacon have a fixed height, so if you add too much content, some of your text might be pushed off the bottom of the page. When this happens, you can add more pages by clicking the Add New Page button. You'll then be shown a range of pre-designed layouts which you can filter depending on the type of page you need. Once you find a page layout that suits, just click the thumbnail to add it to the document. You can then add more content to this page. If you have a lot of content that you need to paste into your document, it might be more convenient to add a continuous page. You can do this by clicking the Add New Page button and then selecting the Continuous Template. Now if you add a lot of content to this page, you'll notice that page breaks are automatically added to create subpages, so the text is not pushed off the page canvas. Instead, when you add more content to a continuous page, the text will flow naturally between subpages. You should keep in mind that it's not possible to add container elements to a continuous page. You can, however, use the rest of the drag and drop items.